I wanted to use information visualization to study climate change. Not the science of climate change, not carbon emissions or ozone depletion, but how people think about climate change and when they do it. I figured when we want to know something, we Google it. So I found statistics about when people search for four different eco buzzwords in Google. Climate change, global warming, carbon footprint, and go green. I entered these terms into the Google Insights tool and analyzed their popularity in searches for the last six years. I discovered that global warming is by far the most popular search term, but climate change is catching up. Carbon footprint didn't gain popularity until late 2005, it has mostly stayed at the bottom below Go Green, although it had a high point in 2007. I also discovered that the popularity of searching for all four terms follows the same pattern every year. Searches start the year on the rise, peaking around April. Then searches start slowing down, and they always reach their lowest point about August. Then they build again until November, when everybody abandons the searches again due to holiday stress. They don't start again until the new year. Why those months? Why do people search in April and November, but not August? To see if the pattern affected all Google searches, I tried some dummy terms. While I found some correlation, that specific rhythm of searching seems to only affect environmental buzzwords. So what's going on? Well, we start the year thinking positive, trying to make changes. Lots of us are also getting sick of bad weather. But then the weather starts to improve, and we take vacations, and walk the dog, and water ski, and forget we were ever worried about climate change. By the time summer is over, and the school year is about to start, we've got other things on our mind. When the weather gets cooler again, we start to wonder, whatever happened to that carbon footprint of mine? Or when the holiday movie season starts, maybe there's a thoughtful documentary, or an apocalyptic action epic to make us worry a bit more until our families, and travel, and gift-giving, and finding a nice honey-baked ham help us forget again, for a while. We can look at the terms on a density map, too, and see where these searches are happening. For example, Go Green is popular in the United States, but most of the searches for climate change happen in Ethiopia. Carbon footprint is most popular in the UK, followed by Ireland and South Africa. If we animate the maps and look at them over time, we can see both where they are popular and the rhythm of their popularity. We can see patterns within the United States as well. Some states like Florida see regular surges and declines in the popularity of the term climate change. Others, like North and South Dakota, only respond to global warming. What does all of this mean? Climate change is complicated and controversial, and there aren't easy answers. What I do know is that the graphs for searches globally and for searches in the United States look pretty similar, so we're all thinking about the same things. If we can start doing so for the whole year, we might actually be able to make a difference.